Hi, my name is Hannah Reynolds and I am a third year pharmacy student. And before I came to VCU, I got my bachelor's in biology from Furman University in Greenville, South Carolina. And I decided I wanted to go to pharmacy school um, because I'd previously done a bunch of research at Furman and I knew I really liked to help patients and I liked science. I wanted to be in the healthcare arena. Um, so when I was in high school, I took a class that was like a pharmacy technician certification class. So I decided to just go ahead and get my certification and work in a pharmacy for a little bit and see if I liked it. I knew that there were some um, areas of the career or the field of pharmacy that I really liked and I felt like I was really making an impact on some patients' lives. Um, so I decided to go to pharmacy school and I ended up here at VCU and I loved every minute of it. I got involved with the Center um, for Pharmacy Practice Innovation through Dr. Sisson. So in our first year of pharmacy school, we take a class with Dr. Sisson and he teaches us um, how to communicate with patients and how to teach patients about the diabetes prevention program. Um, and then in my second year of pharmacy school, I actually helped with one of the cohorts of the diabetes prevention program. And then in the fall of this past year, I helped with my second cohort. And then after that, Dr. Sisson reached out to me and asked if I wanted to help with my third cohort, um, the one that just started in January, and do some research about the DPP program. So we're hoping to show that pharmacy students, when we pair an individual lifestyle coach, which is a pharmacy student, with a participant for the DPP program, that not only does the participant have better retention rate in the program, but also more success. So they're gonna meet their goals of exercise minutes per week and their weight loss goal. So my work with Dr. Sisson has been great. He knows so much and can say like, this is a great idea, let's try to implement this, or maybe let's change that just a little bit and implement it in this way instead of that way. Um, so he has so much knowledge, which is so helpful, but he also, he gives us a lot of room and it's not him coming in and saying, okay, this is what needs to be done and here's exactly how I want it to be done. He's saying, here's our big picture, here's our goal, here's like our finish line, this is what we're trying to get to, but how do y'all think we can show this or how do, what do we need to do to um, show that the pharmacy students really are having this impact. 